Today I'll show you how to transfer a DAS outfit that has both a normal map as well as a bump map into Unreal Engine with the DAS to Unreal Bridge. This is my assistant Cheyenne here. Hello Cheyenne, how's it going? And she is wearing the summer bikini for Genesis 9 that has exactly that. And we'll see this a moment in DAS Studio that the bottom bit, the crinkly bit is generated with a normal map and the top bit here, that pattern, all the texture detail, that is created with a bump map. And on top of all that, we also have a transparency map that is responsible for the cutouts here. So if we look at this in DAS Studio then, on the summer top, I'll select that first, and on the surfaces tab, then on the base collection here, and then in the bump channel, I see that I have in fact this as a bump map and this as a normal map. So that's how you can tell what details generated by what. However, if I go and transfer that into Unreal Engine, then I'll see something like this. So I still see the outfit and it's all intact, but I don't see any pattern showing up on the top at all, but I do see something happening at the bottom here, which is that crinkly bit that we just saw on the normal map. And that is, of course, because there's no bump map connected. So I'll show you two ways of doing this. Uh, one is using external tools like Substance Painter for that. In fact, it is using Substance Painter for that, but you can also find other tools, like there might be an option in Photoshop that might be working on your system. It isn't on mine, but if you get it to work, there's also online tools that can turn a height map or a bump map into a normal map. You can use those. And there's also a way to do this directly with the bridge. So I'll put chapter points in the description so that you can jump ahead to the relevant sections if you don't want to listen to the whole thing. Let's take a look then first at our figure with the outfit material here, in fact, on asset details. Uh, this is here at the bottom. You can see that is the material for the top. Let's just use the top as an example. Open that up and then we can see what's connected. So this is the diffuse, this is the opacity, and we have a metallic and we do have a normal, which when I open that up, that is this. So exactly what we saw in the promo picture, we see bottom crinkly details, but nothing on the top here. So if we go into the base alpha material here, that's the parent material, and I have a quick nosy at how that is set up, you can see that there is sort of a bump output. So the material itself knows how to deal with it, but there's just nowhere where we can put that in. So let's go and have a look how we can mix this together with the bump map in Substance Painter first, and then generate ourselves a new normal map that we can replace this one instead. Let's have a look at that. And then we're going to have a look at how to do this with the DAS bridge. First, let's go and take the summer top out. That's the only thing we need. And uh, export onto my desktop. Let's make that an OBJ, in fact. I'll just call that one top. And I'm going to make it DAS Studio Scale. And I'm going to write the original surfaces out, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we can also just go into here and those are the two maps that we really need. So I can go up here and then go to browse and then just go make sure I'm in this folder when I go and load these two things in Substance Painter in a moment. So in Substance Painter, let's go and make a new project here. Template doesn't really matter, but we'll leave Unreal Engine for now. That's okay. And this was on the desktop, just top. Fantastic. And let's go and use 4K as a document resolution, OpenGL for our normal map format and import baked maps. This is actually where we can import the two maps that we need for this. So under add, I'll paste in my path here and then I'll see if I can find the normal for the top, which is this one here, and the bump for the top, which is this one. So those two, let's open that up and they'll be imported together with my OBJ file here. There we go, nicely done. We can bake the maps for this, but we don't really need to do that because we really only wanna mix what is there. So no baking necessary, but let's make a fill layer here and switch off everything but the height and the normal map. And then we'll load in our normal here from assets. Under all libraries, we switch that over to project. And then we'll go and switch this to textures here. And then we have our normal and our bump. So the normal goes into here. Just left click that in there. And then we'll see that is some detail that's, that's already there. And then the bump goes into the height channel here. And then you can adjust how much height you want to have in there 
to make that strength adjustment of either map, that isn't exactly obvious here. Like so many things in Substance Painter, not exactly the most user-friendly app, but here's how you do that. You head over back to the Layers tab, and then you think there's some kind of a number or slider with which you can adjust the normal and the strength intensity and you can do that with this drop down at the top here this is currently set to base color which means this value here is adjusts how much the base color is being blended into the layer stack but of course we don't have one which is why this doesn't really make a difference right now so if we set this from base color to height we're adjusting the height detail so that the height that's our bump map and then there's another one is called normal and that's the intensity of our normal map that we're blending in so let's start with the height that changes Changes this blending mode here from normal to edge, whatever that means. This is like massive menu, and I suppose edge is great for height, whatever that means. And then you go and adjust that value here, and that blends in more or less of the height map of our bump map. Same thing with normal. If you go and adjust that, then you get the strength of the normal detail here. That's how you do that. So you can blend them together until you're happy. If you needed to make changes that will require you to increase this above 100, well, that of course isn't possible unless you go and duplicate that layer. So Alt, left click and drag to make a duplicate. And then you have twice as much of that detail. And then you can do the same thing. So maybe turn that down and then go over here to the height and then turn height down on one and then you can add a little bit more of the normal map if you needed that and that's basically our work done now we can just export this out and that'll export us a combined normal map out of this so file export textures i'll go and leave the default directory here in fact, open that up just to see if there's anything in there yeah i think there is so let's go and <laughs> delete that first and then and then my output settings that should already be set to 4k here by default all i need to do is now hit export and that'll bake out everything including the stuff i don't need but it's fine because it'll also come with that combined normal map so these two those are maps that we currently don't need but this one here you can see that if we well if we open it up you can see that it has now the crinkly bit as well as the patterny bit. Or maybe infinite dilation was a little bit terrible, but hey, it's going to work. It's going to work. So that map, we now need to go and import into Unreal Engine. And the way we do that is to open that up. I might just go and do this here that we know where it's going to be. Paste that path in here and pick that up from here. And that is our combined normal map. So now I can go and replace that in the normal texture that's already here. So with that selected down here, I can go and click this button here. And then in my viewport, I should see that I now have maybe a slightly overemphasized combined effect there, but it is now there. And that's exactly what I want. So that's something that you can do with an external tool and you don't have to worry about materials at all uh, with re-exporting things or whatnot. So that's good if you have these external tools, but if not, then, you know, that's not so good. Like a Photoshop, for example, since it is open, used to have this option in here under filter you can go to 3d and if this was a black and white map you can just go and turn that into a normal map from here so that's a possibility to generate that second normal map and we'll talk about how to mix those together in unreal engine in a moment but as you can see in my version of photoshop it no longer works so even though that what it's saying here is in fact enabled it just doesn't work and it's one of those things so maybe you're luckier I am not so in this case this is this is not an option so substance painter it is for me but there are online tools that you can use as well so another option then and I'll go and bring this back here to the previous version there it is now it's flat again is that we use das studio to create the normal map from the bump map on the second transfer so let's see how to do that in das studio i'm going to go and go back to the top and i'll go and set my normal map in fact 
to nothing. So over here, I'll go click on that map and say none. Since we already have that uh, other normal map in Unreal Engine, we don't need it again. So now we are left with, well, not much detail at the bottom and just the patterny bit, which is the bump map. So now if I only transfer the top and I won't transfer the figure because it's just for the textures here, I'll go say DAS to Unreal. There's a funky little menu at the bottom here. That's the advanced settings. So there we have an option called generate normal maps. And thank you for Daniel from the DAS Bridge team for bringing this to my attention and for David who spotted this, but we both couldn't quite work out how to, how to use this. So Daniel jumped in and told us how. So we're gonna go and enable that with the normal map disabled. And I'm gonna call this transfer maybe just uh, top. And that is that, I'll go and send that over. So this is now just with the top selected. So the figure isn't gonna be brought over, it's just the top. And we're just really after that normal map. So what the program is doing under the hood, it's taking the bump, turning it into a normal. And we can now go and use a node in Unreal Engine to combine the two. Okay, back in Unreal Engine. Let's have a look what the top looks like just in the skeletal mesh editor here. It's definitely got a pattern here. And if we go and look at the material, I can see that this here now has a nice bump detail here. That's fantastic. So the only thing it doesn't have is the detail on the crinkly bit. So we're gonna have to mix those two things together. And that is something that you can do not on the material instance, you have to do that on the base material. And I strongly recommend that you don't do this right here, but make yourself a copy of this because whatever you do here is being saved to the actual plugin content folder. And we probably want to leave that as is. So let's have a look where that is. Like here, if we click that little folder icon, this is it, base alpha material. I'm going to go and left click and drag that over to my Cheyenne folder here and copy it here. So now I have made myself a new base alpha material and I might just go and rename that base alpha to normals just so that I know that that is in fact the new base material I want to change and also use for my little experiment here. Since we want to apply that to the outfit that she's already wearing, let me go and find that here. Whoops, uh, it's at the bottom. So if I go and double click that, that's this. And then this is where that needs to go in the base alpha material. So I'll select that, put that into here. And that shouldn't change anything for now because currently it's just an exact duplicate of that. So yeah, everything is still the same. So open the copy that we've made here drag that out and now we're going to find a node that will go and plug into this existing normal map in here so that is called if we drag out of this blend angle corrected normals then blend angle corrected normals and if I go and put that in like so, so it goes straight into the normal channel, it gives me an error because we don't have the additional normal map connected. So the first one is still there. And now the second one really needs an input. So let's go and take that out. That's from top textures. That's the normal. So I'll go and drag that right in here. Texture sample, that RGB goes into this and nodes happy. And that is that. So you could make yourself an instance of that and then turn this into a parameter and then you can plug in a second normal map on that. Uh, now though, if we go and quickly save this, so you have to save it, otherwise it's not gonna show up. Give it a second. Then we should see our original normal map and this one overlaid in there and we can now see that we do indeed have subtle normal detail there. It's a little bit more crude and a little bit more work. If you do it via Substance Painter, you really have much more control over how strong this effect is. I'm not sure if there is a way to increase the strength of a normal map here or here on either of these wires. I've not looked into that, but that is basically how you do that. So I hope this was helpful and you got a lot out of it. My preferred way is really Substance Painter. I've got an article on my website that I will put into the description here that shows you all these instructions in writing, just in case you're not a video fan, but I will add the video to the top of this article so that you can have a look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.